Hello and welcome to another edition of the Eternal Journey, I'm Light Resolves, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the Kennedy's style of play. Uh, I think that Lights Out Ace was playing this again recently, and it's not too much uh, very different from last time really. Um, we've still got like, the main card, which is just, like the End of Hostilities and Kenna. Got like, the Mullet in the board, which is nice. Uh, also Flamestalker, which is sort of interesting because you'd expect a lot of people to have bar right now, but I guess if they've already used the first bar to like, kill a combustion cell, then you know, you're able to just like go ham with this. Um, there is Caleb's choice in here rather than bar, and I think that's just because it's more versatile because not only does it also kill Cookbook, but uh, you're able to just like counter things that might actually matter. So. If you're like ahead with like a, a massive Kenneth going on, uh, if your opponent's only out is like hash rule, you're able to just count on the hash rule as well. So like, you know, that's just sort of like a little bit more functionality that you do get. I'm generally sort of questioning about having power in the market now. Um, especially if you're at like three, which you need to find, but I suppose it's just to help us actually have like the influence to be able to play like Kenneth because she is triple and also more because that is triple triple later on in the game. And yep, Enter Cells is just a double, so yeah, let's go to the lab and see what this deck can actually do, and hopefully we get to do some broken fun stuff. Okay, so we've got a Grenadine, but I've got no Combustion Cell. I think we should probably try and redraw it into a cell, uh, just because that's probably one of the more important things that the deck can be doing. Here we go, cool. So we've got a cell into a assembly line, and then hopefully we should be able to do a little bit of end hostilities from there. I was playing Huru, so maybe we can mess him up. Um, do a couple of ways though. I'm going to waste some power later on, so we'll get that now. Uh, but if we don't draw any power, probably just going to be playing the granite waste though, and I'm just drawing. It's not very nice. Well, okay, if this is our opponent's deck, maybe we don't need to be too concerned about a Omen of Austerity, because that's the one thing I guess that, um, that Kill's Choice can't deal with, and that is Omen of Austerity. Well, it's not fine just to kill us, I guess. Let's keep my point off stuff. We've still got like one Grenadine in play. So, let us Wisdom here, just to get a little bit deeper in the deck. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, we missed. <laughs> Maybe that was a situation where we could have just like X the merchant did for the banner and then gone and fetched like a pair of frosters to deal with us. But I did just want to really hit my fourth power. I was hoping to spell to do it that way. Because uh, once it gets our fourth power, we can use the uh, combustion cell here just to get the end of hostilities going. <clears throat> we'll get to our fifth power, we can get this just to get our assembly line back. And then, you know, once we've got assembly line, uh, we should be able to just keep hitting power for the rest of the game. So I've got someone a little thinking, maybe we've got a merchant and they're considering doing something about it. Uh, but they shouldn't have too much in the sort of ways of dealing with this grinding now. <coughs> Okay, well, this is fine. Cool. So, actually, I think we're just going to get some value off this here. I think they might have gone and fetched. So, I'm just going to make two of these. Two unseen commandos is good. And then, like, next thing I guess, just like torch theirs. So, if they do own for stereo here, we've still got like a board. We've used like some of their power and traded one of their resources for something that isn't really doing anything. So, they're doing Yoga Gratitude here, so. What are they gratitude in? Hope it's not like Valkyrie and Farsa. That'd be awful. It's like give us a two free. It's like snap locking this. <coughs> yep, so I can Farsa, that's fine, because now I've just got like, a block of this. Use my torch to kill this on my turn. I can also just like sacrifice this for tribute at some point as well. Uh, let's attack here. Get to get some lives. I'll probably block and has a trick. We'll just get to torch this. So this is fine. Um, don't have too much more to do here, really. Uh, what do we want to get? 
Getting more is probably a little bit aggressive, really. Boop this with a torch. Yep, so of course, not got any fast effects. So, I suppose we'll just strategize. Don't really need sick power. It's going to slow us down by turn. We don't have Kenneth in play anyway, so it doesn't really matter here too much. We'll just strategize again. Just keep digging a little bit deeper. Well, we have seven next turn, so we can go and get another um, end hostilities. Okay, this grade is cool. Uh, what are we mirror imaging? Okay, so we're going in the market again. <coughs> so I suspect our next turn is going to be Unseen Commando, getting there for free. Uh, then just, I guess we'll sacrifice this little 2 free and just get a Kenner just to kill this. Kenner gets back our um, end hostilities. Seems pretty nice. Okay, cool. And we've got Grandins, so we should be going wild. Let's boop this. Go up to 7. Okay, end hostilities. Be this because it's like the only one that matters. Probably does get to do some stuff here, you know, if they get to. If they kill us, it turns off our end hostilities a little bit. But we're going to hopefully get to make two more unseen commandos. Uh, which will get this flying and kill us. Or this will get um, plus three, plus three, and then plus two, plus two. So this will be a, a big girl here. We should probably actually just. <laughs> Kenner this though. Just grand in drone, sacrifice a drone, and then just like make loads of Kenners. Just keep doing that every turn. I suppose that'll grind our opponent out even better than what we're planning on doing, which seemed you know, a little bit fair. Yep, so the silence is fair. Uh, but then I guess in that case it's just making more unseen commandos. Just with the old-fashioned way. The fair way. So before when I was talking, uh, wasn't just talking rubbish, I was actually just See in the future. Silent Kenner is just like a draft card. It's a lot less exciting. We're taking a hot minute here to have a little bit of decide what to do. Uh, so I'm going to guess that they've just not got over of a story with their little dooners. Hmm. Well, Ninja is good. So I suppose we will play this out. Sacrifice one of these. Go back up to seven. Let's make more of these. So this gets quite big, gets plus three, so it's a five, six. If they double block, just kill the smaller one. I don't see our opponent ever double blocking there though. Just doesn't seem like a thing they would do. Yeah, it's probably a rough decision, because um, you could probably imagine that we can blow this out. So, then we just get to kill this for free. Yep, God's 15, kill this. I just have like, the world. Because <laughs> next time we get to attack for 15 in the air, so you have to be really careful with this. <clears throat> We've got the ground pretty well covered. Probably not trading these, it's just not my wheelhouse right now. Hmm, what can Kells try to kill? Kills an attachment, a single faction, so nothing quite yet. Let's get Molot. Hmm, Molot's pretty spicy, just kill the opponent with it. Uh, sadly, doesn't really do much with the board because it's got like two Aegis units and then a 5-5. Five five. So, hmm. it's a little bit suspicious. So, Function Blade here, uh, reasonably good. Kill Kenner's not fine. Uh, yeah, it's a chump block here. I suppose wisdom first. 
It's not quite what we're looking for, but we'll get to game 15. The old game 15's probably reasonably good here. Because he also gets a crack up for 10 in the meantime. We do need to deal with a 7-7 seven, seven, though, because that's getting a little bit out of hand. I think though, we can't die from this board that our opponent's got. Uh, Strategize like, whatever. Give the spark catcher, we'll get Moloch, because Moloch sort of deals with this. <coughs> yep, so I'll just like, stop block here. Go to 10. And then get to attack for everything, hopefully get Spark. And then we should be able to play Drone plus Ultimate Drone. Thunderstrike Dragons! Ugh. And it's got Berserk as well. Oh, that's absurd. Um, so only now do we go up to 8. Well, let's strategize and see what we can find. Jordan Hurler can get out of town, I think. Let's boop this. And then hopefully we should be able to set up next turn. <coughs> or if we're thinking we're just like not close winning, well not close losing to <laughs> now the complete opposite way. So Do you need to do something here? Um, let's just block this. <coughs> we do need to keep both these alive so that the opponent does block with this here. Um, that we do still get to So now This is basically plus one power. So we can actually get in with the... That's probably a bit risky. Let's make it look like we're desperate for the lives. If I put blocks, we get to kill it with um, Mola, which is pretty cool. It's quite a technology. Also, we should have attacked with the little one one because we would have killed our problem with Mola, but... Well, such is life, etc, etc. Yeah, well, we could have won that turn, but yeah, because if I probably didn't block both of these, we were in debt to Mullet anyway. Yeah, you know, we should have just attacked with the ground in instead of trying to keep it around because we had like the backups, so we should have, we would have had enough power to be able to get back to that anyway. Okay, so uh, we've got Kenner, which is good, but I think that we're probably going to have to redraw that. Uh, this is... I'm not sure if it's better or worse here. Let's play out Fire Sigils, I guess. Okay, so, uh, got too many friends in the roster, so... I'll try and sell that out later. Um, I am going to play Cobalt Waystone. Just because then if we draw, like, a, a Primal Sauce, we should be able to play the Wisdom Elders. Probably going to be in the market, actually, for uh, getting the Scarecrow Banner, though. We will put the Grand Waystone in because then we can get it back later. I'm just doing Power of Power at that point, which is sort of fine really. Just making our influence better. And if we are like really hard up for the influence later on, I uh, actually probably should play the seat of Fury just because it doesn't really matter about it being underplayed here because we are just going to fire Wisdom as soon as we get an opportunity. So I probably play Wisdom, we don't have to worry about Unseal, so I was fire as I was off. Cool. We've got a spark catcher as well, so we've got a way of being a little bit resilient in the face of removal spells, as well as you know, giving us something to actually sacrifice away with the combustion cell. So, definitely a setback, sort of fine here. Let's get a cell. We've already got a cell, so 
generally found can't deal with like the first cell, so like the second cell is just like, okay, got me. Blast Cat Harbinger could be quite good against us. Hmm. Right, what our prone complaint would be good for. Ooh, Gargan Fnatic. Well, Permafrost is probably good there. Alright, let's do those perma this. Just crack our prone for five. Jeff does need to do something with the friends list just to make it. I guess you can just have more, or just so it's easier to sort of use. It's sort of. It's too easy to max out, I find. Okay, well. That wasn't ideal. Let's go fire up the Seek Power just to deal with deck pinning. Probably just not going to do anything. Um, probably just going to double block this. It's not like I'm probably playing another Nightfall unit just so that we can keep going. Okay, well, no blocks for me then. Probably could have sort of blown us out there by going for the attack first. Because I'm just like snapping off like the block. I suppose it checks to see if we've got a torch as well to follow up, I guess. But we don't. Cool. We're running in tribal here. Delicious. Combustion cell looking super good. I uh, would really like um, end of hostilities actually. It's like nope. Pop here, take five here. It's good thing. We do have to be concerned about screen here, but like whatever. Like I assume we're pretty dead at the point where I'll probably activate nightfall and we just drew power. What's this? Well. Got a little dude back. Well, we've got nothing going on whatsoever. I wouldn't pull the power out just because if we do get like a Canada, we're able to like play Canada plus like I think we'll get back, which is probably be wisdom. Yep, taking five is fine. Probably not got the scream, so I'm feeling pretty happy with myself. Kyphus. Little post combat Kyphus. Deadly dual damage endurance. Good, good. Feeling super good. So the perfect this, I've been for that nonsense. If I was got like any real spell, they just win the game on the spot, but plus it's just sort of like the, the, the bad side of Canadians, because sometimes you know you just don't draw your strategy and then you just sort of sat here for like a bunch of one ones. I was trying a little best to try and get it though. Ouch. That just goes good here. Um we do have to block sadly. The ideal draw would be if like this was assembly line and then underneath it was an end of hostilities because then we get to make two uh, kyphoses but that didn't happen so we lose instead but <laughs> GG's the old opponent here uh, Six power for Kenna, probably not getting there uh, this is you know, probably good again. Uh, we do sort of need something going on. So I feel a little crest here. Permafrost could be good, but I feel a little bottom that just try and find like a unique effect, you know, something to tribute into. Yeah, I've probably played a cookbook deck, so Permafrost is not really what I want to be, to be honest. Um, I could always do I guess. Let's get Spark Hatcher in there so we can get some pressure on the opponent. And then next turn, probably just make a Combustion Cell. And I have to depend on what I want to do with the rest of my power, but... So I just want things in play. So I'll just do it this way. I'll probably mix Vara. Um, I'll probably not sacrifice and Permafrost it. That's probably fine. A lot of these decks now could be getting Bar here. Which is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, if I played my pile way around, I could have like end of hostility and got two merchants, that would have been sick. But we'll still get to do that maybe next turn anyway. 
So I don't want to perm frost here because if I probably got bar, they get to absolutely just own us. So we'll just play spark catcher out. Because like bar here with two targets is just awful for us. Um Oh, they didn't. Okay, cool. Um in that case. Let's do this then. We do get massively owned by um I suppose we get like we only need to trade like one of them. Could just make Kenna. Make Kenna next turn, it's fine. My poor torch is real merchant, it's not fine with this. Yeah, you annihilate your own thing, that's fine. Cool. Panic over. Next turn, if they don't kill our combustion cell. I think it's unlikely. Okay, so here's the bar. So pretty much uh what we expected here. Hmm. I think that's merging it back to the still get access to bar, which is sort of awful for us. Um what else then. So we can combust we sort of set up Kenna later on. I'm just gonna do this. Get a combustion cell. They'd have to have like third merchant to be able to get it. So it's just like whatever. Um, if they've got it, you know, I'm just gonna concede the game. Perfectly fine for my opponents to draw all three. Ah, oh, this is awful. Um, so get one that doesn't matter. Yep, you got a tiger. Um, let's just play Kenner, which gets us back end of hostilities. I don't really want to kill this with Kenna, but I also don't want to sit here with a combustion cell while my opponent's got one of them, so it's okay, happy to trade, more than happy. My opponent's got things in play whilst they've got, well if my opponent's got no units in play and they've got cudgels in hand, that's all fine. <coughs> Would like for our opponent to play something that we can get a nice end of hostilities on. That'd be really good. Oh, John Hill, I'll just cast it, I suppose. Yeah, don't make him angry, don't like it. Also, if our opponent does kill our uh, combustion cell, at some point we can use Snowball uh, to get tribute. So that's exciting. Go on, make a Rizab. Vara, boring. Uh, nah. Can make one of yours. Oh, cool. So let us sacrifice this dude right now. Hope our opponent's not paying attention, which is unlikely because Donald's a really good player. Uh -huh, but then we get to make two of these, which are bigger than yours. Oh, get to kill one of them. Oh. The hostilities on top of the deck counts perfect though, because now we've also got like sort of a way out of other things. Uh, yeah, just do this. That's fine. Probably gonna attack with my seven eight here, because attack pretty well into two five sixes. Right roll. Boop. Yeah, huh, turned on tribute again. Is this just a regular one? Hmm. Well, we can search eyes first because if we don't like what we see, we can. Hmm. Okay, so that's cool. We'll just do it again. Combustion cell here pulls us up, and then we get to end of hostilities from the top of our deck again. We do only get base size virus, so if our opponent doesn't sacrifice there, but. They're not deadly, because I probably can't sacrifice that thing, which is nice. Uh, 
but it does have a huge life steal, which uh, isn't nothing. Well, let's just whiz in there, so we can get. Got Perfrost coming. Pretty good shape of Scar opponent, I think. <coughs> yep, just crack him for 10, I guess. Um, I imagine they do some sort of blocks here. Well, we're at 42, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Torch probably ain't it. I mean, Torch does team up with Snowball to kill a lot of our opponent's threats. So, um, Small, Vara, uh, Rizan, and Statue Maiden, but I think we'll just do better. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is sort of fine. I will play this Grendon, sacrifice it. End hostile is Rizan. Boop this one, boop our opponent. Uh, snowball the Rizan. And then wall up our opponent for five points of damage. Uh, I do really want to find like a, a Kenner though, just so I can start getting those. Uh, and hustle is back. We've got Lucky from on top of our deck quite a few times. Uh, the opponent could have harsh will hit. But hopefully these fire bombs are able to pressure him enough. So, okay. Yep, no Rizan's sort of fine. Um, I suppose we'll just attack all. We're not much healthier life total than our opponent, so I assume they need to actually do some blocks here. So we've got harsh rules, basically the same. So they're at 10, but two bombs will do the trick against them. We'll play face Age of though, just to protect us a little bit from a setback. Okay, so tickle for the four points, just put lethal in play, I guess. Because <coughs> I've got like millions of. Um... Oh, Song of the Sky King. That's good. Uh, I suppose Merchant would be good here. Oh, cool. Uh, Firebomb, right on time. Well, if you found a torch, we've got lethal, so uh, let's boop Skyquid better away. Okay, so can't quite do it all. So, so interestingly, uh, we can get Flamestoker, but our opponent has. I think we'll get Flamestoker. Because I've already thrown away um, a third merchant. I believe it was a third merchant, anyway. So I probably shouldn't have um, the ability to bar this. And if they do bar, they should be using. Okay, so. If they did bar, it would be basically like five power of smut, so they'd be low enough from power that whatever we've got in place should be able to kill them anyway. But I was also thinking there about maybe getting Muller. Okay, well, uh, I think that's a straight redraw there. It was technically a free power hand, but I just don't think it was going to get there. Uh, this is probably fine, could you play the Seat of Fury out? I'm playing the Mirror? Only running. Well, only running is... Less than exciting against the uh, Grenade Jones. If this gets a pummel out of our opponent, I'm sort of fine, so we'll just snap block with one. Uh, because you still get got by pummel, even by double blocking, just let's just like snap a block off, just like hit whatever. Okay, well, guess who's getting torched? I just drew another one. Sweet. 
Um, let's get this crest out of the way. Actually, don't want that power. Let's boot this. I suppose we attack, um, we'd just be chumping like over a 4 power or... Yeah, each of the units that you would chump would basically deal 4 damage to us and one of those has overwhelm so it doesn't really matter whether we've got a dude back or not. Yeah, like, Champion Fury, like, we could have chumped but like, what were we doing with that chump then? Um, so... Let's just torch this because it's nonsense. Grab a Fire Sauce, grab Grandin Joe. We'll just sit back quite comfortably here, just like double block this if we need to. Which I think we probably might do. Uh, we do want to find something like a wisdom just to be able to draw forward. Yeah, Perf. Perf is going to be good against this. Um, I guess we'll just strategize. I just want to show our problem that it's like we will just snap block everything. It's like literally you've got no concerns here. We will block everything every day. So combustion slab would be pretty good because it gets towards his Kenner. And Kenner would probably be at this point. Probably just get the strategize just to dig a little bit deeper. Don't think we care too much. Okay. What's oh, that end of hostilities we can't use? Um there's nothing we want to end anyway, because it's all rubbish. There's all the Aegis units we can't target. I mean, I guess, you know, Paranoid's kinda of good. <laughs> oh, we can get more grand in Jones. It seems a little bit expensive. So I think we'll strategize here. And I might actually just be going ahead of hostilities on the bottom. Um, actually, no. Bottom kind of. So it's got like a nice curve. Just copy one thing, I guess. Just like six costs to make two grand in drones. You know, it's not from the realm possibility. Uh, boop. Uh, nope, I can't block that one because we sort of need it around. we has got a trick that's sort of fine. Yeah, pummel. Like as we were saying before, like pummel's sort of fine. Leave on top, which is not sort of bad news. But we get to kill one of our things, and we'll probably like five power. Hmm. <coughs> just play like this. We still got to block one of these. Uh, I was just a little bit concerned that maybe our pummel's got a torch. Would have been very happy. I'll be just take three though. Cool, rampage. Quiet, got me. Uh, natural power would be nice. Uh, I guess we're just doing this just to make some bodies. So, we're gonna really finagle our way. I'll probably hear nearly a thousand masters playing Skycrack because. No, <laughs> but they're making us work for it. Uh, boop. Do we still block now? Yeah, we'll double block. If we draw a merchant, that'll give us basically the power to get to Kenner anyway. Oh boy, I'm glad they didn't have that torch when we went for the uh, the six power two dudes. Yeah, this is enough of this. Yeah, you stop that. It's like any power just to get a Kenner down, don't even care about tribute. Just want my big girl just to get down and eat something. Oh. Ouch. Okay, so power our Rito. Good, good. Crest of Fury. <laughs> Definitely not just dead to this. Uh, get out of here, Crest of Fury. Nope. Thought I might get lucky and just like put a. Uh... What way to go out? This absolute hero over here. Like a, a thousand masters playing Skycrook anyway. Just, must just really love life. Okay, well, if we could redraw this, like, your still farms aren't really doing anything. But yeah, this is sort of better because we've got both Grenadine plus uh, Combustion Sap. Um, that's five Grenadines. Waiting for this to turn on, this port is like too far away because we do need to have three other fire sources. So, Probably fine by that point. Okay, cool. Praxis. Hopefully, just like a really big, slow, deadly Praxis midrange deck that lets me like get them with um, like end of hostilities on some killer behemoth or something like that. 
completely not above just like torching any nonsense, just like any sort of accelerant, just like initiate the sounds, just don't care, just gonna boop it. Let's try and keep our opponent sort of uh, a little bit slower. Oh, as in Dale deck. Oh, almost on the torch. Uh, we don't have to be a little bit concerned about um, Banish, I guess, but I suppose if our opponent takes like the one of the next two turns on a Banish, that's sort of fine really. <coughs> oh cool, we've got End of Hostilities coming up as well. So that is good. Yeah, so Torch is coming. And if I probably play something cool instead of like um, banish, so I've like I suspect a banish here, but if they don't banish, I'm just going to use this end of hostilities, I guess. Hmm. Would like to play something good though. Well, I'll play something good so I can copy it. I probably just like an absolute savage mastermind. Oh yes, quarry's position is my kind of a uh, my kind of gameplay. See, strictly better than a seek power. I'm going to keep this one back uh, just in case it's like a devastating setback which blows up my team. Got nothing in here that I actually want. And cold blood, yep, you got it. Yeah, I think I just want things in play that pressure. If I pull plays Heart of the Ball, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, yes. Come on, boys, let's drive power. Spark catches, not power. Like, copy it. Boop. I'll have two 6 sixes, thank you. Oh, boy, if I pull plays a Azendel next, we're in great shape. Go on, make an Azendel. You know you want to. Yes! This is what everyone came for. This is... This is... Yeah, yeah, true power. Get on with it. Um... I'll actually just... Boop this with, um... So, we have to sacrifice anyway. We can't actually kill it with Kenna anyway, unless we've got, like... There's nothing we can get. So let's just get our own two copies of Azendel revealed. And then we attack with everyone. Opponent gives us the leechy, which is what we want. And then we get to do it again next turn. We don't get to do it again next time, we get to do it the turn after. Okay, so in cold blood, one of them. Yep, yep, got me. With you so far. Uh, Vara. Uh, probably just want to draw four. You can have a five, six, that's fine. <laughs> so. Get to draw more cards as we don't we? Uh, actually, if we just play out a spark catcher, you sacrifice a spark catcher, go back up to six. Our opponent's going to be so cross. And then we get to copy as and then revealed again. And then we get to draw 12 cards. <coughs> oh, yes. It's even better than just like killing your opponent with the unblockable dudes. You're just like. Well, I can't play any of this. It's not too expensive. Oh, yes. Let's snap this off. I don't care about drawing cards. I just don't want them to gain lives. 
But during all these things are just like jumping into my void. You don't get to pick with the discard, but it's fine. Uh, I don't want kind of merchant. Probably don't want crest of impulse. Okay, so petition to draw a card of the little duda. I should have got like lethal off the unblockable dudes as well. Nice. And just scoop them up, buddy. Oh, rats. They're going to die before we get the animation of just like drawing their entire deck. Because we've got, I've got 12, yeah. Would have drawn their entire deck if they'd not died. Mm, delicious. Like a top 500, yes. Hit her first. Professional player. Okay, so that was Kennedy's and. It does have a little bit of a spice to it, and that's what I enjoy. Just like the end of hostilities that you saw in the last game, where we just got to copy our opponents as indels, and it sort of puts a bit of pressure on your opponent in that they can't play good stuff because you're just going to get twice as many of it. Especially when it's things like Azendel, which is sort of got a bit of synergy with the deck anyway, because you've already got like these sort of idiot grenadines hanging around that are just going to attack in, and you don't really care if they die because if they get free, you get to draw a card. Um, well, that deck's probably still cool. Um, Managed to get through this. Uh, still a little bit poorly. Hopefully, it'll be better next week so that I can get a. So, I do like recording two or three videos, especially when, like this, where I'm just thinking, like, I've got loads of different decks we could play. And I'm feeling a lot more freed up now I'm not bothering with the world's invite. I'll just try and play whatever the next test tournament is and try and get there through that way. But it's been cool. Thanks for watching. I hope that was all. So see you around.